A government may soon be forced to show proof of active involvement of young people in the formulation of youth policies as a prerequisite for accessing support funding. The United Nations Coordinating Office in Ghana will by next year set up a joint youth advocacy group to bring together all youth groups under the UN for a strong advocacy voice. As part of this year's International Human Rights Day commemoration, the UN Coordinating Office organized a youth dialogue with heads of agencies under the UN Coordinating Office in Ghana. The dialogue discussed human rights issues affecting young people and how the United Nations can support the youth. Representatives of various youth groups present have the opportunity to speak about challenges. The United Nations Resident Coordinating Officer, Sylvia Lopez Ekra, called for a paradigm shift in the approach to the issues of sexuality among adolescents. We've been hearing a lot in the past that the future of the world is with the youth, that uh, we have to give more voices to the youth, but instead of just saying it in conferences and in meetings, we wanted to meet with the youth and have this very candid conversation with them about their aspirations, about their dreams, and about the challenges that they face. And I think the conversation was extremely insightful. It was uh, very encouraging to see how smart our Ghanaian youth is. Some participants expressed worry over the gap between youth involvement in policy formulation and the implementation. Others spoke about the poaching of vocal youth into the political arena in order to swerve them from objective activism. Edith Asinam Asameni speaks for the African Youth and Adolescent Network on Population Development, African Ghana. It is important that we step back and reflect on those things we see as normal. Are they really benefiting every single sector um, within our, our society? Are they benefiting girls? Are they benefiting boys? Are they benefiting men? Are they benefiting the elderly? And if these things benefit everybody, then it means then these things are sound. But if one group is lagging behind or if one group is suffering from it and talking about it, then we really need to take action and do something about it. He called on the United Nations Coordinating Office to ensure government involve the youth in the formulation of policies as a prerequisite for accessing funding for implementation. Youth, they say, are the future leaders, and so this is a step in the right direction.